So, hey, my people, hey, somebody will come out, and the person that is telling you that you should not walk, that because he don't want nobody to snap him. I beg my brother, Mona, come snap me with my uniform. If I this restriction, I they walk. Oh boy, now now blessing. There are a lot of people who cannot get up and walk. There are a lot of people today that hatred, evil people don't spoil their life. They cannot even get up and drink water. But you as a man, you have the audacity to insult an elderly man because he's going to work. You said, as old as I am, I'm still working. Ah, God will never forgive you in that. I I hope you did not work until you die, yo. Because let me tell you, my brother, that word you use, eh? You will suffer for the rest of your life. And you will work until you die. You will work and work. They can't work when you go work, not be my own work. That one I suffer. And that picture, when you say, you don't want to make a comment for train station. A picture on your back, Mark Bella in Facebook. So, what you need to do, have you, you work, how can you survive abroad when you are not working? How many of you, when are they follow on? When are not get work? When are not they work? Kisleman, you know, they work? Osaze or Sevigi, I don't know, work? I've been at that campaign. Campaign. When Italian police give her a nine job before he left. Kiss the money was one. I mean, uh, Osado was having a Momu. Momu was in Italy. I met Momu. He and yeah, I will hold you. I feel fair. He and he at Taliwa. At Momu, not commission at Momu. Now they start all this human traveling. Now they spoil Italy. Commission at Momu. Kiss the money. Now they scatter Spain. They did there. They did watch you. You do insult hard working blue collar workers. You get locked in Europe, you don't even now here America, you do one. Blue collar workers, therefore, don't make you famous. So, for those of you who are working, Baba Oshomule, still they work. Emi Lokon, Emi Lokon, my turn, he talk and my turn. Emi Lokon, still they work. You hear me so? Hey, Milo, come, see the work. I think my statistic will go chop. I will pray for God Almighty <laughs> to give him good health <laughs> so that he can A lie with arithmetic that so never <laughs> no Indian can solve it. Divide 650 with 18.9, you give 29 point something billion dollars. A lie with arithmetic that never to Peter Obi. No Indian can solve it. Mr. Peter Obi. I don't know you. I don't know you. I have never met you. I have supported you. Certain agenda. My goal was. Atiku Abubaka not to step his foot in toe or his butt in that seat called president seat. It's good for number two. It's not good for number one. Now that number two, now there is still 16 billion dollars money that was meant for electricity. Atiku Abubaka. So my message to you, Mr. Peter Obi. Do not put yourself in trouble. The same thing I told Dati Baba Ahmed. When he released that video, when that video came out, was the first Nigerian that cautioned that this is insurrection plan. Now my video they watch. Only say they know they give me credit. The whole social media now me the first person. That day that video came out. The same day that video came out, 
I watch the old social media, nobody talk. The second day, I bring and come out. I said, this is what America just went through. We do not need it in Nigeria. Right from that moment, I continue to denounce that statement. Try to correct him. He went back on air. I repeat the same mistake again. Guess what? What I echo is now what Nigerians are not saying. Mr. Peter Obi, I want to beg you. If you really mean well for Nigerians, God bless you, Richard Obaboyi Agbaka. Let's go to Peter Obi issue as I talk. My message to Peter Obi, sir, you are my elder brother, Nigerian brother, Nigerian father. I think you are going to 70 now, 60 something years, Abi. I don't know. I think it's 60 something years. I don't even know your age. You are a father to many. If I were you, sir, when you lost that election, you would have just come out and be an elder state man that you rebranded yourself to be. We all know your record in Anambra. Most people that are from South, like me, we do not want to dig on the bad things that you did, but we are digging on the good things that you did. You would have just come out, call your senior brother, your father, Baba Asinwaju Bola Ametunubu. You would have just called him and say, congratulate him. I said, sir, I have congratulated you as a father. I want to work with you to move Nigeria forward. If really the suffering Nigeria, the killings that Nigerians are going through, you would have said, call Baba Asinwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You would have told him. You would have called your followers, your fans, and say, you understand this election was not free and fair. There's no country in the world that election is free or neither fair. There must be some certain set, even in America. You would have called him and said, but you will follow the due, due process that the election is rigged according to you, that you will still pursue court to, but you just want peace to be in Nigeria. You will go forward with your court, with your litigation. Nobody stopped you from that, but you did not do it. Up to now, you have not congratulated him. Maybe because we congratulate him, that means you agree. But let me tell you, sir, Mr. Peter Obi, don't make things difficult for Igbo people more than the way it is today. Why do I say that? The way you are behaving now, I pray for God Almighty to help you. I love you. Either you or Baba Siwaju Bola Metunubu, I don't care, provided it's not Atiku Abubaka. That is my stand. I supported you. I supported Baba Siwaju Bola Metunubu too. Both of you were either my number one or number two. Both of you. Sir, if you really want to be president, it's not too late for you. Start to face the damage your number two have done. Start to face the damage. All these Guinea residents, uh, citizens, that those things are bullshit too. Sir, Amigo talker, nobody, nobody, nobody born out of a woman can stop Asinwaju Bola Ametinubu inauguration. Nobody can stop him from taking the oath of office as president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. Peter Obi, I am begging you, sir, face the problem before it's too late. Learn from Comrade Adam Ali Oshomule. 